Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to take you through my full workflow for creating a stylized rock. Starting in ZBrush, then moving into Maya for UVs, and finishing up with some custom texturing in Substance Painter. Along the way, I'll show you how I used my own ZBrush brush pack and Substance materials, which you can grab if you want to try this yourself. So I'm starting off here in ZBrush, just blocking out a basic shape using the Move brush as well as Trim brushes. Nothing fancy yet, just getting that chunky stylized silhouette. One thing I like to do is to use the Trim Dynamic brushes, especially around the edges and major forms. The goal is to suggest natural erosion but still keep it stylized looking. After the major forms have been created, this is when I like to come in and use other brushes just to add details on top of the surface. In this case, I'm going to try out some of my ZBrush brush pack brushes, which as I mentioned, you can find in the video description below, so you can download and try them out. Once I'm happy with the shape, I do a quick polish pass just to unify the surface and make sure no areas are too noisy. After that, I used ZBrush Decimation Master to reduce the poly count while keeping the shape as intact as possible. This makes it easier to handle in other software without losing detail. With the mesh decimated, I bring it into Maya to create UVs. Since this is a static asset, I'm not going to retopologize this and just use the decimated mesh. I'm also going with a single UV tile for this. As I create the seams in Maya, I also use the unfold tool and then pack everything within the 0 to 1 space. Once that's done, I export the mesh as an FBX file and get it ready for Substance. In Substance Painter, I start by baking my maps. Normal, ambient occlusion, curvature, all that good stuff. Even with the decimated mesh, Substance does a great job generating accurate bakes. For the base layer, I'm using one of my custom stylized rock materials, which comes with the 3DX Stylized Smart Material 3.0 pack. I have been using this set of materials for pretty much all my stylized models since I created it. It gives you this nice blend of painterly texture and stylized edge highlights which work well with this kind of sculpts. Sometimes I like to make some small tweaks to the material as well, just to add more character to the model. When you're texturing something, it's pretty much a balance between using procedural tools and making manual adjustments. You are saving time by using a pre-made material but can still add some small touches here and there. As I texture my models, I also really like to rotate the lighting as well as enable shadows just to see how the light reacts with the model. I'll rotate the light around a bit just to preview how it feels from different angles. I'm really happy with how this turned out, clean sculpt, good detail without being too noisy and stylized enough to fit in games or stylized cinematics. If you're interested in using the same tools I used in this video, both the ZBrush Rock Brush Pack and the Stylized Smart Materials for Substance Painter, they're all available in my store, just check out the link in the video description. Thank you for watching, if this video was helpful or inspiring, feel free to like the video, subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want to see more breakdowns like this one. Alright everyone, I'll see you in the next one.